हॅलो स्टुडंट्स दिस व्हिडिओ इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सरस्वती विद्यालय युनियन अँड हाय दिस इज प्राप्ती टुडे वी आर गोन टू स्टडी अबाउट द स्टँडर्ड लेव्हन बायोलॉजी इन दिस वी आर गोन टू स्टडी अबाउट द चॅप्टर सेक सिक्स्टीन दॅट इज स्केलेटन अँड मुवमेंट्स फ्रॉम दिस चॅप्टर वी आर गोन टू स्टडी अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वील स्टडी वॉट वी हॅव सीन इन द लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स we have seen related to this chapter that is location and structure of skeletal muscles then in this we have seen the structure of skeletal muscle in that origin insertion and belly then we have seen working of skeletal muscles then we have seen few example of antagonistic muscles in that flexor extensor abductor adductor the next example we have seen that is pronator supinator after that next example we have seen that is levator and depressor and protractor retractor is also one of the example of antagonistic muscles and after that we have seen the next example that is about the sphincters so all these topics we have already seen in the last lecture okay now today we are going to study about the structure of myosin and actin filament so all of you knows that in the microscopic structure of skeletal muscles okay in the animal tissues we have already studied so in the contractile unit of muscle that is called as the sarcomere and inside this sarcomere there is a presence of contractile proteins and that contractile proteins are known as the actin and myosin protein okay so from that only we are going to study about this structure of myosin and actin protein actin filament okay let's study about this the first we are going to study about this myosin filament okay this myosin filament which is polymerized protein the monomeric protein is called as a meromyosin means like this is the single structure is there that is known as the meromyosin which constituent one thick filament this myosin molecules which consist of two heavy chains that is known as the meromyosin which is coiled around each other which forming the double helix means like this two meromyosins are there which are coiled around each other and that time it forms this double helix structure okay that's why it is known as the hmm that means heavy marrow myosin okay how many chains are there two heavy chains are present remember this one okay now here in detail i'll show you in the diagram c okay here in this myosin molecule okay there is the double helix structure is present you can observe okay this is known as the heavy marrow myosin and at the end of this heavy marrow myosin at one end of each of the chain which is projected outward see that one chain is projected here the other chain is projected outward here okay so this end is folded into the globular protein so that globular protein mass which is called as the myosin head you can say that this is the myosin head this is the myosin head this is the myosin head okay and this projected part which is projected outwardly so it is called as the cross bridge you can observe here in diagram i have shown in detail okay so in this myosin structure on this globular protein if you observe the globular protein is like this on this there are the two light chains are associated with each other okay so here at this point two light chains are there okay so on each head two light chains are present means like this totally how many chains are present totally four light chains are present means that is known as the light meromyosin that is known as the lmm light meromyosin so this myosin head you can observe here in this myosin head there are total four light uh, light uh, chains are there as well as there is a atp binding site is present see that here atp binding site is there here myosin atp site is there 
okay so here this atpase binding site so it shows the atpase activity means what it does so it convert or it splits this atp into the adp as well as inorganic phosphate okay so that is known as the atp's activity so this myosin constitute 55% of muscle proteins you can see in this diagram okay i'll show you in detail here so here see this outwardly structure see that one end of each chain it is projected outwardly it is known as the cross bridges or folded into the globular protein mass that is called as the myosin head you can observe here here it is given in detail see that two light chains here one of the chain here is on each head two chains are there see that in blue color i have shown you already okay how many chains are there there are presence of four chains that are four light chains that are known as the light marrow myosin okay and you can see here there is the presence of atp binding site observe here atp binding site means that site is very important for the atp's activity that site which is very important to split atp to produce energy so this is the structure of myosin filament you can observe here here it is shown in detail atp that uh, actin binding site here one site is the actin binding site and the other one atp site okay you can observe here in short i'll draw here diagram like this is one of the head on this head two light chains are present here atp binding site is there and here actin binding site is there like this two sites are present on that head on each head okay this is the myosin structure i told you na ki there is the what uh, that atp is activity you can see that that atp comes and bind to this myosin head then there is this atp which split into the adp as well as inorganic phosphate then there is the hydro atp hydrolysis process due to the hydrolysis only that adp and inorganic phosphate produces and then that head get binds to this actin filament and then it is responsible for the contraction okay don't worry here if you not understand it so afterward we are going to study in detail here just i want to show you the atp's activity means there is a splitting of atp that atp which split into the adp as well as inorganic phosphate and then it binds actin and then that is important for the pulling that actin in the forward direction okay now see here the next topic we are going to study that is known as the actin filament we have already studied about the myosin filament in the myosin we have seen that is a double helix structure then myosin head this cross bridge okay we have seen in detail about that now actin filament is there this actin filament which is the complex type of contractile protein this is the actin filament okay this actin filament observe it carefully ha huh? this actin filament so which composed of three parts first one which is known as the f actin second one which is known as the which is known as a tropomyosin and the third one which is known as the troponin okay like these are the three components from these th three components actin filament is made okay i'll show you in detail the first thing here this f actin that rounded rounded structure you can see here that globular okay like this is the structure which you can see in this in this actin filament that yellow color rounded structure that is known as the f actin okay and on that the thread like structure the double helix thread like structure means this which is present that is known as the tropomyosin and on that tropomyosin that greenish structure which you can see that is known as the troponin so like this this actin filament which is composed of this effect effectin uh, then tropomyosin 
and then troponin. Okay, now let us study in detail. Now, in this the first one is what that is the actin filament. I told you now that yellow rounded rounded structure is there. So, that is F actin. So, this F actin it forms a backbone of the actin filament. It is double stranded protein and each strand each strand which is composed of G actin molecule you can observe here. So, many rounded structures are there. So, one rounded structure that is what that is the G actin protein. Okay. So, one ADP molecule is attached to each G actin molecule. Okay. This is about the F actin. Now, let us study about the tropomyosin. I told you now the tropomyosin is what that is the thread like structure which is present. But now, let us study in detail the actin filament consists of two additional protein strands that are polymerized tropomyosin molecules each strand loosely attached to an F actin. In the starting it was loosely attached means in the resting stage this tropomyosin physically covers the active binding site. What it does? It physically covers the active binding sites for myosin of the actin strand. Okay. Here. Then the next one is what? Troponin. This is troponin. In this troponin, it is a complex of three globular proteins which are attached approximately two third distance along each tropomyosin molecule. Okay. See here, this is the troponin. It has affinity for actin, troponin and calcium ions. Means it binds to this actin, fila actin filament that F actin. It can binds to the tropomyosin and calcium ions. This troponin complex is believed to attach the tropomyosin to the actin. The strong affinity of troponin for calcium ion is believed to initiate the contraction contraction of process. Okay. Actually this troponin is there. This troponin which is composed of a three globular proteins. Okay. Whenever inside it the calcium concentration increases. Okay, I will explain you afterward where this calcium comes out, from where it comes out. Okay, so it gives chance to bind to that calcium. When it binds with the calcium, that uh, then it, it changes the tropomyosin, it changes the A factin, and then it is responsible for the contraction of the muscles. Okay, you can observe here. That calcium enters, it binds to that troponin. Troponin is, is which is composed of a three substances, three globular proteins, and then this myosin head binds with this actin. Okay, means whenever calcium enters inside it, it first binds to the troponin. When it binds to the troponin, it is responsible for changes takes place in the tropomyosin and actin protein. Okay, and then afterward then that uh, myosin filament comes and bind to this. So, this is the structure of the actin as well as the myosin filament. Now, mechanism of muscle contraction we will study in the next lecture. Please like, share and comment on this video and if you have any doubt, you just write down in comment section and please subscribe my channel. My channel name is Prapti Vanzare. Thank you.